you like to? Shla Prabhupad ki Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Yeah. 
Πήρε ευχαριστή. Μα τι μα την κάνει. Είναι πολύ σημαντική η ιστορία. Είναι πολύ σημαντική η ιστορία. Με τα σύνδεση τη ιστορία, τι μα την κάνει. Είναι πολύ σημαντική η ιστορία. Και πήρε ευχαριστή. Με τα πιέρα τη ιστορία. 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 Με τα πιέρα τη Gives association, takes care of them. And in these people, he will say Hare Krishna and keep them happy. So, Madhyamadikari. Uttamadikari is too transcendental. He thinks everybody is Vaishnava but from him. He cannot preach. Uttamadikari cannot preach. Karishadikari, he cannot preach. Only a Madhyamadikari can preach. Uttamadikari, to preach, he has to come down. Step down to Madhyamadikari, then he preaches. So in our movement, in this common movement, we have different levels of devotees. There are Kanishtans, there are Madhyamas, there are Uttamas. And in each section, there are three levels of devotees. Kanishta Adhikari, if you take, Kanishta Kanishta, Kanishta Madhyama, Kanishta Uttama. When it comes to Kanishta Uttama, then it jumps to Madhyama. Kanishta, Madhyama, Madhyama, Madhyama Uttama. When it comes to Madhyama Uttama, then it progresses to Uttama Kanishta, Uttama Madhyama, Uttama Uttama. Now, Archana has explained this. So the nine levels of Jewish are there. Kanishta Uttama is there. I mean, this is a very serious story. What is a Kanishta? By taking the association of Uttama, you can go to Madhyama and Kaya. So, devotee care, these things we should understand. Then we can do proper care. So, who is a Vaishnava? Who is a Brahmana? It's very beautiful, actually. There's a difference between Brahmana and Vaishnava. We all know that. Who is a Vaishnava? Satsanga is sadhu, real sadhu. Who has sat lakshanas, six qualities he has in perfection, is a Vaishnava, sadhu. Titikshwa, Karunika, Suhardam, Saradehina, Ajata Shatru, Sadhava, Shanta, Sadhu, Bhushanam. Six qualities. Titikshwa, he has a lot of patience. Patience means forgiving in nature. Prabhupada says, forgive. Devotee should not keep anything in the heart. Oh, she did like this to me. He did like this to me. Let me show. He's not a devotee. No grudges. It's okay. A devotee has the conviction, Krishna is in control. Then a blade of grass will not move without his sanction. If some devotee has troubled me, fine. I don't get angry, okay. But tolerate. Tithikshwa. Forgive. Tolerate and forgive. The first quality of a sadhu. Karmika, very merciful. When you have the patience and forgiving nature, when you have, then we can be merciful. Without Tithikshwa, there's no question of karmika. One cannot be merciful. So when you're merciful, you move to the next level. So then, Saradehna, everybody is my friend. No enemies. Jodi won't like to have one enemy. If you have one enemy, you've got to come back here to settle the score. Karma. You've got to come back here to settle the score. Then why I should have an enemy? My enemy is my lust. My enemy is my lust. I have to handle that teacher. Kama, Krodha, Loba, Moha, Maramat, Sarge. Six enemies, Rupa Goswami says, these enemies are there. I want to handle these enemies, not this person, not that person, no. So forgive him. Everybody is my friend. So when you have this attitude that everybody is my friend, where is enemy? Ajata Shatru. No enemies. Ajata Shatru. That is Yudhishthana Maharaj. Very good example from Mahamad. Vidhisthu Maharaj never had enemies. Duryodhana and others they thought, 
Yudhishthira is our enemy, but Yudhishthira Maharaj, no, no, they are my brothers. That's why Krishna is so attached to Yudhishthira Maharaj. When he goes to the peace committee, when Krishna goes to talk with the Kauravas, to settle, to avoid the war, then he tells them, I have come here seeing the qualities of Yudhishthira Maharaj. He's such a magnanimous soul. Such wonderful qualities he has. For his sake, I have come here as his messenger. Supreme Lord glorifies Yudhishthira Maharaj. Ajata Shatru. Sadhava. He avoids by scriptures. One who avoids by scriptures is known as Sadhava. Sadhava is known as Sadhava. He or she is known as Sadhava. If we don't avoid by the scriptures, we avoid by mind. If you don't have a guru, then mind becomes guru. A guru is there, guru is there to liberate us, the mind is there to bind us. So why? Why do you listen to this mind? So the mind has to be controlled by intelligence. What intelligence? Transcendental intelligence. Intelligence derived from guru, sahadu and shastra. Not by the polluted intelligence. Polluted intelligence cannot control the mind. Sadhu. Shanta is always peaceful. Because he has these qualities, because one knows how to control the mind, he is very peaceful. Shanta. Sadhu Bhushnu. These are the six qualities of a sadhu. What is other? Sadhu, a Vaishnava. A Brahmana, Bhagavad Gita Lord says, Shama Dama Tapasthaucham, Shanti Rajam Evacham, Jnana Vijnana Mastikyam, Brahma Karma Sabhavacham. A Brahmana has nine qualities. Of course, Vaishnava has 26 qualities. The word I mentioned is six prominent qualities. But Brahmana has nine qualities. But if you analyze these nine qualities, it's all connected to material world. It's all connected to material goodness. But if you analyze the Vaishnava qualities, it is not material goodness, they are all transcendental. Patience, one should be transcendental. Merciful, one should be transcendental. Everybody is my friend, it should be transcendental. Ajata Shatru, no enemies, transcendental. Amish by the scriptures, he is transcendent. Peaceful all the time, he is transcendent. These are the qualities of a son. Brahmana, Shaman, Dhamma, Tapa, Shaucha. Shaman is peaceful. Anybody can be peaceful. Shaman, Dhamma, self control. You can control the senses. Shaman, Dhamma, Tapa, austerity. Shaman, Dhamma, Tapa, Shaucha is clean, externally and inside. Shama Dhamma Tapa Saucham Shantir, tolerant, he is very tolerant. Evacha, Jnanam, he has knowledge. Vijnanam, he has realized knowledge. Brahma Karma Savavacha. So, but all these things, the Brahma qualities, they are all in three modes. A Brahmana is only after the mode of goodness. Brahma Karma Savavacha. But a sadhu, sadhava, he is above the modes, he is transcendental. That's the difference between a Brahmana and a Vaishnava. So, who is a Vaishnava? He should have these qualities. Who is a Vaishnava? Or who is trying for these qualities? Let me build up the qualities. Krishna will not see what exactly we are doing. How many has finished finish your 16 rounds? Arjuna, did you finish your 16 rounds? Yudhishthira, you finished your 16 rounds? No. Krishna will see the qualities. We chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare. To imbibe these qualities. Once we develop the qualities, then we are fit to go back to home, back to Godhead. That's why we chant 16 rounds. We follow the four regulated principles. And associated with the devotee is very positive. 
Sadhu Sangha. Take a group only to become transcendental. That means all the good qualities one has. Anantalva, a great duty in Thirumala. Another great duty in Kanjipuram is known as Kanji, Kanji Purna. Once uh, Parasar a great devotee from Srirangam, sent some devotee, he just go to Anantalva and ask him, who is a Vaishnava? Who is a Vaishnava? This devotee travels from Srirangam and he comes to Tirupati, he meets Anantalva and asks him, Prabhu, who is the Vaishnava? He says, you not answer, I'll tell you later. We are going to do service, do some service. Six months he never answered. Anantalva never answered this devotee for six months. He asked the question, who is the Vaishnava? Six months he never answered. And this devotee was doing nice service to other devotees, interacting with the devotees. Everything was doing very nicely. Out of six months, Anantalva calls him, now you can go. But six months back, you asked me a question, who is the Vaishnava? I'll tell you. Yes, Prabhu, tell me. Vaishnava is like a cock. Vaishnava is like a crane. Vaishnava is like salt. Cock, crane, Son and you. So this devotee is you. That's all. But this devotee doesn't understand. What is this? I ask the question, who is the Vaishnava? He is saying, cock, crane, son and me. That's all. No, no decoding, nothing. Can you go back? So Tirupati, he walks back to Srinagar. Then he meets his guru, Parasar Bhattar. Parasar Bhattar asks him, you got the answer. Who is the Vaishnava? Yes, he gave me the answer, but I don't understand. I don't understand anything. What is that? What answer he gave you? He said, Vaishnava is cock, crane, salt, and me. Then Parasar Bhattar smiles. I answer. A cock or a hen, what it does? It digs into the dirt, keeps on digging. When it finds a seed, it eats. It will not eat anything else. Because this cock has the discrimination power. It can discriminate what is good, what is bad, what to eat, what not to eat. So devotee means he has the discrimination power. Rupa Goswami, Nectar of Devotion, he explains. What is intelligence? Intelligence means one should have two things. One is memory. He remembers many things. He remembers many things. Number two is discrimination power. Krishna says in the Gita, Buddhi Parinatasvate. When you get the mercy of the Lord, when you get the mercy of the Lord, your intelligence is well established. That means you have the power to discriminate what is good, what is bad. So, Parasarvata says, so this cock or a hen has the discrimination power, digs into the dirt, takes only the seed. Like that in his middle world, we should not take everything seriously. What is important for your spiritual life? What is important for your soul to me? What is really going to benefit? Only that it takes. Like a cock. Crane. Next is crane. Crane is in the water. All the time. Keeps on moving the water. When the small fishes go, it will not catch. When big fish comes, it will catch and swallows. So a Vaishnava is like a crane. He comes across many scriptures, many tattvas, many philosophies. He will be just watching. Real tattva. Vaishnava Tattva, 
Bhagavad-gita, Bhagavatam, Chaitanya Chaitanya, he grabs. He understands the subject matter. He is a Vaishnava. Like a clay. Next is salt. Salt, then without salt, we don't enjoy food. Salt should be there. But you don't see the salt. Salt is there, you don't see the salt. And nobody glorifies the salt. Today, dish was so nice. What wonderful salt it was. Who says? Oh, salt was very good. Anybody says? Oh, salt was fantastic. Anybody says? Oh. Something is more, we say, salt is more. When salt is less, we say, salt is less. Otherwise, we never think of salt. We never think of salt. But salt is there. Without salt, we don't enjoy. It will not be delicious. But salt is very important. So Vaishnava is like that. He is there. He is very important. But he is unseen. Salt is hidden. Can't see the salt. Vaishnava is such a person. He will do everything to please Guru and Krishna. But he is unnoticed. He is not very prominent. He doesn't try to show off. He hides behind like salt. So, cock, cream, salt. And you, six months, Aunt Alva saw you. We behaved so nicely. So, we are a Vaishnava. So, the first identification of a Vaishnava. Who is a Vaishnava? He should have a discrimination power. What is good? What is bad? That's possible. Is, how is that possible? When we chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare, we get the mercy of the Lord. We get the mercy of the Lord. Prasadam Adhikachati. Prasade Sarasukhana. Hane Asapajayate. Prasadana Chetas Yasu, Buddhi Parinatistate. When you get the message of the Lord, what happens? Buddhi Parinatistate, intelligence is well established. One not the discrimination power, what is good, what is bad. Without discrimination, without discrimination power, how we can lead our Krishna conscious life? Then we can associate with everybody. Mahayama is also. So to know, oh, he's a Mayamati, Hare Krishna, get out. Oh, he's a Vaishnava, I should associate. Oh, this Bhagavad Gita, yes. This, a novel, no. The discrimination power. <coughs> this is very important. So he's a Vaishnava. So discrimination power is that. It should be a very humble, Karunika, Tadikshana, everybody's friend. No enemies, peaceful, is peaceful. And always where the scriptures. Where the scripture says so, where Guru says so, Vaishnava says so, then it takes it. He is a Vaishnava. Next, let's, let, let's take the point. Next point, Vaishnava Seva. I can tell you a story. The story is easy to remember, more than philosophy. The story is to remember, easy. Philosophy, they are happy. So he take to South India, in the Kanjipuram, a famous place. How many of you have visited Kanjipuram? And so on, many of you. Yeah. Lord Vardaraja Temple, huge, massive temple. Lord Vardaraja Temple. There was a devotee by name Kanji Purna. He was Guru of Ramanuja Chakra. Ramanuja Charya had five gurus. This year is Ramanuja Charya's Sahasrati. Thousand years. Thousand years over, but still Sri Vaishnavism is very good. Why? Because of this Acharya. Tomorrow is not thousand years. It will be good, this? Because of Prabhupada. So it's so important to be attached to Srila Prabhupada. Because centuries and centuries, each name should be there. Then the divorce is stay together. It's so important. 
is the founder acharya of this call so <coughs> ramanuj's guru was i mean five gurus one guru is kanchipur kanchipur was such a wonderful devotee is to converse with the lord yes its qualities lord is to converse with him every day talk to him then this is the case so the people come to know that is so close to lord vardaraja so they should ask him questions ask lord about this to me ask lord about this to me so one simple villager he asked uh, Ram, this kanjipur kanjipur when you talk to lord you please ask him when i'll get liberated kanjipur says okay i'll find out so the next day he talked to the lord and says lord such and such a person he wants to know when he gets liberated Lord, oh, that person? This is the last one. After this, he's coming back to me. Tell me. And Kanchi Puna next day meets him and tells him, he's all over, he's going to get liberated. This is the last one. He was very happy dancing. He was in jubilation. Oh, this is my last one. Then Kanchi Puna gets that doubt. What about me? Should I ask Lord? This is the last one. But such a humble voice to her. It is an ask. Next day, meets the Lord. He's conversing. Lord goes, right? Sarvay said, Jaha, Prithi Sandarishtu. He's in everybody's heart. Then he asks, Kanchipuna. Kanchipuna, you have something to ask me? <laughs> no, Lord, nothing, Lord. Come on. Something is something you are asking, Lord. No, Lord, nothing, Lord. Come on, Kanchipuna. You want to know, right, something? Yes, Lord. What is that to me? No problem. Lord, you told me that person is going to get liberated. I want to know when I'll get liberated. Then the Lord looks at him. You? You? Not this one. Some of us will take. Shocked. Why, Lord? Because I am interacting with you. Every time with you, you are talking to me, I am talking to you. Why am I not being liberated, Lord? Please explain me. What is the shortcoming? I will correct myself. Lord says, Oh, Kanchipuna, I have not seen you serving one devotee. You are very good at my service. What are the devotees? Where is the Vaishnava Seva? Where is the devotee care? No devotee care. Without devotee care, they cannot come there. There, in Goloka Vrindavan, Vaikuntha Dham, is only devotee care. Lord is caring for the devotees, devotees is caring for the Lord, devotees are caring for each other, Lord is caring for each other. That's it. Lot of love. Love and affection is there. Right? Really, without love, how we can survive? We have everything, right? We have everything. What we lack, we lack more. Always the hankering, who is loving me genuinely? The jiva wants this love, true love. Jiva is looking for that actually. And very difficult to find it. We can't get, nor we can give. Husband and wife, they come together. Nowadays especially. They get married, they come together. And after a lot of conflicts and misunderstanding. Why? Both are expecting pure love, but they can't give. Why is that? Husband is full of Kama, Krodha, Loba, Moha, Madha, Matsanya. He has an Atnas. Wife, you know, she is full of Kama, Krodha, Loba, Moha, Madha, Matsanya. When they come together, where is love? You know, these Anathas, they clash. That's why divorces are happening in the Western countries. And today India is following. Same thing with India. But a few decades back, India was not like that. It was totally different. There's a pure love was there between family members. We all want to love. We all want to receive love. But we don't know how to do it. So, once we get connected to Krishna, by chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare, when you get connected to Him, 
when you start loving him by his blessings when he starts loving us he's always loving us when the relationship develops then that love expands then you can love all the jivas like shila prabhupada did or guru maharaj other exalted vaishnavas they can love everybody they can love anybody like i said as i told you how shila prabhupada was loving an insect panditaha samadarshana then no everybody is part and parcel of krishna everybody is part and parcel of krishna mama evam she jiva loka jiva bhuta sanatana krishna is from time immemorial this jiva is a part and parcel of me they're my angas my parts so where is the question of enmity where is the question of enmity he is uh, this prabhu is part and parcel of krishna he is part of krishna how i can hate him she is part of krishna how i can hate her because due to lack of long knowledge we have this too much of misunderstanding so you have proper knowledge even the misunderstanding is okay is okay is only temporary nothing is permanent in this world nothing is permanent the body which i love the most is not permanent my family is not permanent my friends is not permanent my youth my money is not permanent what is permanent krishna krishna is sanatana the jiva is sanatana and the spiritual world is sanatana but this material world is not sanatana this metal body is not sanatana so when we are too much into these temporary things metal world and metal body metal things then we get into problems right this bhagavad gita also says krishna is sanatana jiva is sanatana spiritual world is sanatana so always we should look for that which is permanent sat but you are too busy with the asat temporary world So Shila Prabhupada brought us here to Krishna consciousness just to paradigm shift from go from asat to sat. Go from darkness to light. So he explains when the Lord says you never care for anybody. I have not seen you serving any Vaishnava. Then he answers oh Lord he offers obeisances and he leaves that place he leaves kanjipuram he goes straight to tirupati in disguise not as a vaishnava he is going to saffron dress and remove that ordinary dress white dress in rags no tilak no kantemala nothing because everybody knows kanjipuram is a great devotee lord personally talks to him so he goes in rags like an ordinary person he goes to another vaishnava in tirupati by name priyanambi there is a temple of that devotee at tirumala next to balaj he goes to priyanambi in rags and says sir can i do some service you hire me i want to do some service I'm going to ask, who are you? I'm just an ordinary person. I can look after the cows very nicely. Oh, I have a goshala. Can you look after the cows? Yes, sir. I look after the cows. Okay, carry on. So, he's serving mother cows very nicely. Mother cows and taking care of his house very nicely. Cleaning, everything. Humble service. It goes on like that for some time. one day heavy rains then this peri nambe is reading the shastras he thinks oh this boy this goshala man i think he has got only one set of dress but rains are heavy i think i should give him another set of dress so with the umbrella with a set of clothes he goes to goshala during that time this kanchipurna was in rags because he got drenched he removes the dress He puts on his saffron dress, sanyasi dress, and is sitting and reading Shrimad Bhagavat. During that time, he comes, Prinam becomes, and sees him. He is in saffron dress. 
with nice tilak everything hey who are you he says i'm your servant in uh, ramanachari sampradaya shri sampradaya adiyen ramanujar adiyen all the devotees name ends with ramanujar then adiyen that means i'm at your feet adiyen means i am at your feet that's my position so when i meet uh, you i say adiyen i am fit to be near your feet no other place so he says i am your servant adiyen i am at your feet tell me the truth who are you i think you are kanchi purna isn't it he says adiyen yes my god you cheated me you are such an exalted devotee you are so close to lord vardhanaja serving him all the time interacting with the lord so dear to lord what is this and you have done such humble service please you got to stop this immediately immediately leave this place or you allow me to wash your clothes and serve you no no you can't do that then immediately he falls at the feet bring them be falls at kanjipurna's feet and immediately kanjipurna falls at his feet they hold each other's feet and they embrace then he says you should leave or you should i should serve you then he says i am leaving then leaves and goes back to kanchipuram as he enters the sanctum sanctorium lord vardhanaja is standing there he is like this come come kanchipuram as he walks in lord embraces him and this lord says i am very happy you are fit to go back to god at this is the last month you will go back to god because you have served one vaishnava with such understanding and humility you are fit to go back to god then is very humble that day what happens lord becomes so happy with him he will be shocked to hear this you know every day bhoga afternoon bhoga goes to the lord after the lord having the bhoga the prasadam it comes to kanchipurna every day this is a procedure kanchipurna is saying a servant he will bring the plate and give to kanchipurna kanchipurna will eat it and give the plate to him he will wash and keep it next day again the lord special will come to him in that plate he will the servant will put it and give to kanchipurna eat and the servant will wash and keep it so that day the plate comes to kanchipurna the servant gives him and is eating the servant says prabhu did you finish i want some remnants i am eating the whole dog is eating prabhu you finished finish prabhu come on i am eating no what's that okay okay again is eating prabhu prabhu is over prabhu come why are you disturbing me let me eat peacefully lord's prasadam Again, Prabhu, 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 do some for me. Why are you asking? Why are you why are you behaving like this? Every day I leave something. No, why are you behaving like this? Prabhu, Prabhu, leave something. Prabhu. Okay, take it. I don't want it. Take it. He takes the bread and goes. And the next day morning, when Kanchipun enters the sanctum sanctorium, he sees his plate there inside. and immediately calculates how my plate is here my plate is juta plate how it can enter the altar then he understands oh the servant is nobody but lord because when he serve the devotee lord want to eat his remnants lord want to eat the remnants yeah. you want eat the remnants i'll finish this so immediately lord he becomes very angry how lord can do this they will go find out his servant is sick so lord has come in place of his servant like a servant and a servant he is sick this is this too much lord eating my remnants this too much i should leave this place 
is angry with the lord and leaves and goes to tirupati there he meets the mahant and says some service i want for balaji then he says you going to the chamal service yeah i don't mind so his service is chamal service ananta avar is being chamal service to the lord and as he is doing the chamal lord says ananta avar stop it why lord the climate is very cool on top of that you are putting chamal for me it's very cold i don't want your service oh lord doesn't want my service fine he leaves the place and goes to shirangam he does not he doesn't want to go to kanjipuram he goes to shirangam but lord, kanjipuram lord has behaved improperly eating his remnants he's very upset how lord can do this let me go and serve balaji balaji said no and he goes to shirangam and he meets the mahant i want some service oh, you can do lord's foot massage ekanta seva night times you can massage lord's foot okay so he's massaging raganatha lord raganatha is lying down he's massaging then raganatha speaks ananta alwar that's enough already lakshmi devi is massaging my feet and kaveri she is massaging my feet you are the third person i don't need you so lord you don't want my service no 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 i don't want please you go back to kanjipuram is the same lord then he comes out oh balaji refused me raganatha refused me let me go back to kanjipuram so from shirangam he goes to kanjipuram and uh, lord vardhan is like come on yeah how you can leave me and go so vardhan raja means is the king for giving boons this krishna hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama 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 hare the lesson here is without caring for a devotee even a single devotee if you don't care the heart will not melt anartha se will not go away the heart will remain like rock then how we can chant how we can develop love for krishna or his devotees so by serving the devotees vaishnava seva as vardhara says only by vaishnava seva you can come go come back to me to the spiritual world no vaishnava seva sorry no he was very exalted very close to the lord conversing with him but he could so devotee care such an important aspect in our society thank you very much hari krishna So definitely first let's give a big hurry ball to Prabhu. So devote devote care is very important. And also there are some questions so what we'll do if you have a question because we want to keep this going and we want to we're going to have a Q&A panel later on. Okay? So I want you to write these questions down and we will make sure we do that i've got you already so or you can just make sure we'll do it like we did last time where we had the speaker but we're going to have revati ram prabhu we're going to have shri vallabh prabhu stain as well we're going to have bhakti pushita maharaj so everyone will be here